Hey guys! While you're watching this video, many of you may go to art school or decide to enroll or whatever. In this video, I'd like to sculpt a character from the Arcane series and you will see the process of sculpting the head in Blender and also I'd like to talk about how I became a self-taught artist without spending years. I want to explain how I turned this learning process into a habit in my life and after a while I saw that I'm able to learn everything and improve my skills faster. Guys, we can learn this art ourselves if we have a plan for it. Okay, let's say you want to start learning 3D character modeling and sculpting or you want to get better at any art skills. Actually, first, I try to learn the fundamentals, because when you know the fundamentals, you would know what you're doing while practicing. You can learn the skill better while you're watching related video tutorials, you know your goals and the path, and you can plan to get there soon. What did I learn as fundamentals? I think first you should see what software you like to choose and learn in order to get to your goals. For 3D character modeling and sculpting, there are a few great software like ZBrush, Maya and Blender that you can start with them and it's just really up to you that which one is a great match to you. So if you haven't decided yet, I suggest that start watching few videos and see different artists' workflows and then decide. But finally, you would learn them all over the time. You better do it. After I chose my favorite software, I started learning the basics of it. I mean the tools I needed for 3D modeling and sculpting, navigating and other basics. And yes, I have a video about that and I explained the basics of Blender for sculpting and I really suggest that you watch it. I put it up here, make sure to watch it after this video. Then after that, I just started watching relevant videos for beginners everywhere, such as sculpting time-lapse videos, sculpt with me videos and sculpting tips and tricks and I tried hard to practice with their videos step by step. Guys, sometimes we just see these videos without practicing and we just think that, okay, I got it, later I can sculpt it myself. I'm just tired now and I have a lot of other work to do, but later when you want to start practicing what you've learned, you can't remember or you would get a completely different result and you would get disappointed. So just try to expose yourself to any relevant 3D or character sculpting videos and follow along with them. And I've been doing this every day, even for 30 minutes a day. Okay guys, another fundamental topic that is really, really important to learn is anatomy. You know, how serious is this? and how we need it in every character modeling, whether it's stylized or realistic. Otherwise, when we sculpt a new character, we think it's an alien and we get disappointed with the result. So please have a plan for learning anatomy when you want to start learning 3D character modeling. Actually, I have a video about 8 tips I wish I knew earlier and I explained if I were starting sculpting in 2022 what I would do and I explained a few useful tips and resources for starting sculpting which is so important. I put it up here, make sure to check it out after watching this video. Okay, now you may ask me what are the useful resources for learning this art. As you know there are tons of free 3D modeling and sculpting video tutorials on YouTube and you can subscribe to your favorite artists and watch their weekly videos to get better at your skills. You know, there are so many things available on YouTube for free, so use them, please. 
Also, you can find your favorite artist's Patreons, and by spending just a couple of dollars a month, you can have thousands of hours of real-time or voiceover video tutorials. Guys, actually, if you want more comprehensive video tutorials, there is another way. So let me introduce you to today's sponsorship, which is Skillshare. Actually, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. And if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, like learning 3D character modeling in Blender, ZBrush, or Maya, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. Actually, I just got done taking this class on dynamic male anatomy for artists in ZBrush, make realistic 3D human model by Nextoot. And I think this is gonna help you to vanish your fear of anatomy and you will be able to sculpt human anatomy with ease and create stunning, realistic and stylized characters. You know, you learn to sculpt all the muscles, how to sculpt a final male body and make a dynamic pose and how to sculpt anatomy in dynamic pose. I know that many of you guys have been struggling with anatomy because it's one of the most important fundamentals you need to learn for sculpting stylized and realistic characters in Blender or ZBrush or others. And I think this course could be a perfect match, no matter what software you use. So definitely join Skillshare by clicking the first link in the description below. And the good news is that they let me offer my subscribers one month free. Actually, the first 1000 people to use the link or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I put the link and code in the description box and you don't have to pay anything. This is completely free. So seriously, don't miss this one month of free membership. And never underestimate the power of internet in learning whatever skill you want. Okay guys, now you might ask me how I could build a new habit. First, I made my goal obvious for myself. I clearly told myself that I will sculpt for uh, one hour a day. I clearly told myself that I will sculpt for one hour a day in the evening on my tablet in my room and nothing can change that. You see, I set an exact time for learning. Also, I redesigned my environment a bit because I wanted to focus on learning better. So I used to make my phone invisible, for example, to limit the amount of time checking my social media, which can be a big distraction while you are practicing or learning something. Another thing is that I always try to reward myself after finishing a task because the task can get more attractive when you expect the reward so we are more motivated to act and it definitely helps you to form a new learning habit for example i promised myself that after one hour of practicing sculpting i would go to my favorite restaurant or i would watch two episodes of my favorite netflix series Another thing is that I started to become a member of 3D modeling and sculpting groups on social media because there are lots of great artists that post their works and explain their processes or workflows that I could learn from them and also I could see other beginners artists that are posting their works and I got motivated by them all the time. So if you want to get better at your artist skills, surround yourself with artists. Another thing is that I changed my mind about this art, you know, yes, absolutely, this is so hard to learn and there are lots of things to learn, but if we just highlight the benefits of this process, we can make it more appealing for ourselves. I just try to make it more enjoyable. Remember, it's not easy to be a self-taught artist because you don't have anyone to force you to do your homework and you don't have any deadline for them. Only you have to force yourself to be disciplined and it's so hard to be hard on yourself. So you should just find a way to have the self-discipline you need. 
guys i hope you found these tips useful and if you have any tips to share of how to keep yourself motivated to be a self-taught artist i'm sure everybody here loves to hear them i'm sure everybody loves to hear them so feel free to share them in the comments below and thanks for watching see you later